What's going on, Scott Squad? We are back in the building. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the importance of good programming and scheduling for reality TV shows, specifically with VH1, because we have three of our favorite ladies returning back to the screen. And I cannot be more excited, okay? Monday nights is going to be lit all as part of VH1's Level Up Mondays, okay? So we already know that Basketball Wives will be back at on May 16th, Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But what we also found out yesterday was that Tammy Roman would also be back on our screens. And what planning and what genius goes behind this programming it's just perfection and to be quite honest with you i would say that while i love bravo bravo could stand to use maybe a couple of these notes for their programming for their lead-ins for their spin-offs okay you always want to use your anchor show to lead in a spin-off or a new show so that the viewing audience is already watching the main attraction and then they stick around for something new and something fresh and something different or a different type of spinoff that you want to do well, okay? Which is one of the reasons why I believe that they are using Beverly Hills as the lead-in for Dubai, but we can talk about that on a whole different day. They got that right, okay? Now, um, what I feel like Bravo kind of didn't get right is by putting Candy and the gang separate from Atlanta, felt like they should have just kind of waited or pushed Atlanta up. And I also felt like they kind of missed an opportunity to add in Karen's spinoff after the premiere of the Real Housewives of Potomac, because they could have interwoven those stories in such a way that you had to sort of watch the spinoff in order to understand what was going on on the main show. And it would have made for a highly immersive experience. But back to what I was saying with Tammy Roman, okay? Because listen, ain't nobody hired me yet to do programming, but we're going to manifest that, okay? Um, but I don't want to work much, okay? Maybe like an hour per week. I can just tell you what to do. Now, we're going to be talking about these three ladies right here today. And first up on the list is going to actually be Tammy Roman. Because Tammy Roman is back with a spinoff called Unfaithful airing on Bravo. So she's going to be kind of like the host for this entire series that will be part of VH1's Level Up Mondays. So let's talk about it because we get this from Dateline. VH1 is exploring infidelity in its latest reality series. They ordered Unfaithful, Caught in the Act, hosted by former Basketball Wives and Real World star Tammy Roman. It says the six-part series, which launches at 10 p.m. on Monday, May 16th, will explore the subject through the point of view of the person who learns they aren't the only one in their significant other's life. Tammy sets out on a mission to empower suspicious lovers to catch their cheating partners in the act. With the help of a relationship expert and a private investigator, she will uncover the shocking truths and get the receipts to expose the cheats. Once the investigation is complete, the suspicious lover can choose to team up with their partner's other lover or take them both down in an um, undercover ambush. In a life-altering confrontation, Tammy's tough love approach will help the heartbroken find the answers they need to make the ultimate decision, move forward together, or end their relationship for good. And it says, interestingly enough, the series is produced by Love & Hip Hop Miami producer, New Group Productions, and it's executive produced by you know a whole bunch of other names that you guys can look up in the, in the article, okay? Now, Tammy says, unfaithful was important to me because I've been that person confused, unsure, and seeking answers in a relationship. I needed help figuring out if I should go forward or move on. Unfaithful provided a way for me to assist others in that predicament. The show is the perfect blend of a talk show meets reality TV, real people, real situations, and me helping them navigate through these moments while always keeping it real. I'm going to tell you something about Tammy Roman that I believe to be true. Tammy Roman keeps a job, okay? Tammy Roman is never without a hustle. 
I don't know who her agent is, but whoever they are, Tammy, you got the right one. It is probably also a part of Tammy's own business acumen that she decided to take the reins in her life and not necessarily just depend on that basketball wives paycheck. You have got to diversify your interests in this world of entertainment. I tell you guys that time and time again. One of the reasons why I'm also in real estate school, one of the reasons why I am doing my books that will be out soon, one of the reasons why I started my supplement company outside of my just love for the products. But you know, you you diversify your interests, and this goes for anybody, whether you're working a nine to five, whether you are whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, always have some things working for you on the side so that you can do and live the life that you really deserve. Okay. I could do an entire video on that and I'll save that for my other channel. But for right now, what I do want to say about Tammy is this is how you hustle. And it doesn't look like she's, you know, it's it's the type of hustle where she is just continuously evolving in terms of what she's doing. I mean, she took Bonnet Chronicles, turned that into a talk show with Fox Soul. Now she's ventured off into, you know, also, excuse me, doing the acting, which was one of her first loves. And now she's hosting these types of shows and developing a relationship with this, with the network like this is really what you want to be doing. This it's a similar situation with Garcelle and NBC Universal, which is which is the umbrella, well, excuse me, which is the overarching organization that Bravo falls under. Garcelle developed a first look deal with NBC Universal so that she can continue so so that they I think have the first right of refusal for any content that her production company pushes out. And we actually saw her working with her production company as well. And to be quite honest with you, ever since Garcelle has done the Lifetime thing, I am quite sure that there will be more content to come from that production company, which we will probably see her starring in her own ventures. And I believe I would not be surprised if you see Tammy Roman and if she already doesn't have her own production company that begins to push out their own types of content. So I'm excited for Tammy Roman because while I do miss her on Basketball Wives, I do think that the every move she has made has been the right next move. And I just find her career path so fascinating. But I digress because we have more to talk about, right? All right. So I told you we were going to be talking about these three ladies right here. So we also have to talk about Shamari DeVoe and Claudia Jordan. Now, I know a lot of you guys Miss, listen, the, the wild thing about this whole situation is both Claudia Jordan and Shamari DeVoe were on one season each of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, a pretty big franchise. Both had had careers before the show, uh, before Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, of course, Shamari was in the group Black and Claudia Jordan was doing a myriad of hosting and other opportunities, modeling, all types of things she was doing before that. But now they are going to be on the same show. OK, so what exactly is this show? Well, the new season, we talked about it previously, I think months ago is uh, VH1's Couples Retreat. It's back and it's about to get real. Okay, this is the cast for the show. We have Ronnie and Shamari DeVoe, okay? Um, we have Claudia Jordan and her man, KJ Dismute. We have Nick Young and Kiana Green. Now, the funny thing about this is you guys may remember Kiana Green from her brief stint on this one, the one season of Basketball Wives, she wasn't really featured that much, but she was on the show. And you guys may also recall that Nick Young dated rapper, well, pop star rapper Iggy Azalea as well. You have Styles P and Ajua. You have Michael Blackson and Arada and Jess Hilarious and Daniel Parsons. And of course, you will have John Sally and AJ Johnson, who will be, I guess, working with them as well. So here is what we get from the rap with regards to the show. It says, prepare for some more relationship drama playing out on VH1. 
The rap exclusively reveals that VH1's Couples Retreat is back and it will be on at 9 p.m. as part of VH1's Level Up Monday. So as you guys can see, Basketball Wives is the centerpiece, is the is the marquee show that's going to lead in and you will have Couples Retreat, which is an already established show coming back. And you have some power players, some marquee names, Shamari DeVoe, Claudia Jordan, Styles P, and oh, uh, Nick Young as well. OK. Um, and then you have Just Hilarious, too. I mean, I, these are some names that we all know. You know what I'm saying? And then you have following that you have Tammy Roman's new show. This is how you do programming. And I, I'm going to tell you, I'd lost faith a little bit in VH1 because I thought to myself, they have gotten kind of lazy with their programming, especially with the latter seasons of the Love and Hip Hop franchise. But to me, I am absolutely now excited about Monday nights because I think it's going to be all the way lit. Now, I ain't going to be able to review all of these shows, but I'm going to tell you what they're about, okay? Now, this show and this season will span eight episodes, okay? So you're going to have eight episodes of this. You're going to have six episodes of Tammy's show. And I'm not for certain how many episodes of Basketball Wives we would get. But I would assume maybe between 10 to 12, because I think that's been pretty much consistent with past seasons, 10 to 12 to 14 maybe, including the reunions. I'm assuming we'll get a two-part reunion, hopefully, because we didn't get a reunion last season. Last season, um, but continuing on, the log line for the new season of uh, Couples Retreat is: during a week-long vacation, cast members will take part in an honest and uncensored conversation on how celebrity couples showcase the challenges and triumphs of their relationships, navigating the complex waters of love, heartache, and communication. And now it's hosted by Michael Blackson of Coming to America and his fiance Rada. The couples featured on the show will interact with relationship experts, including life coach AJ Johnson and NBA champ John Sally. The new season dives into real conversations as well as candid and intimate moments the public, the public couples have never shared before. It will also feature discussion on mental health, overcoming infidelity, navigating grief and loss, spirituality, and having children, okay? Um, I think that this is a smart, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I think that this is a smart move for the couple who has been together for a pretty long time. Okay. Because that allows you, because at that point, you know that you guys are solid. Now for a new couple, it can either be a make or a break type of situation because if it's new, if it's newer, you don't have that history. And so I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe the hope is that as a couple, maybe you learn more from the from the more experienced couples or the couples who've been there the longest. I would just be kind of worried about putting the relationship out there on front street like that, you know, um, if it's a newer relationship. But I feel like for someone like Shamari and Ronnie, who really do a lot of relationship work per their Instagrams and per what they showed us on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, this seems like a show that could be right up their alley. And I think that they will probably thrive at it. It'll be interesting to see how some of the other couples fare in this situation. I'm very excited to see <clears throat> because I don't think I've seen a trailer for it yet. So I'm excited to see how all of it will shake out. And maybe they didn't want to give us so many trailers at once because they did give us Tammy's trailer and they gave us the Basketball Wives trailer. So maybe they're saving this one for another moment unless I happen to miss it. But let me got, let me know, guys, will you be sticking around on Monday nights after Basketball Wives to watch VH1's Couples Retreat and Tammy's new show, Unfaithful? I'm actually pretty interested in both um, because I am also, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to see Claudia and... Um, Shamari back on our screens because, you know, I'm a Housewives fan and I'm also excited to see Tammy in anything she does because I've been we've been rocking with Tammy since, you know, back in the real world days up to she got onto you know, even um, basketball wives. So I'm excited, man. I think that May is going to be the month and we thought we was going to be back outside and we about to be inside watching these 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 shows. OK. 
And if you don't watch the shows, obviously, of course, stick around for the review because, you know, we're going to have a good time. All right. Now, with that being said, make sure you guys check out the links in the description if you want to read more about each of these shows. Stay tuned to VH1 and we will catch you guys in the next video.